Hello people, in this video I'm going to go over just a few tools what you can use to start your own AI model, right? So a lot of you might be, like you might have seen like AI models that are popping up and stuff, people's meeting them, but you might be wondering how, right? And that's kind of what I'm going to get to in this video, is how you can create your own model, change its looks and all that stuff, and you know, to have an efficient model what's going to actually bring you an incoming, because I guarantee you, right, you've seen all these people online, like, and you're like, how the fuck have they made a model, something got such good quality, something what looks like it's real, right? And they're making ten thousand dollars or more simply off it, right? So I'm going to go over a few tools what you can use to actually get similar results to them. Obviously, it's not going to be the best if you're a beginner, but you're still going to get similar results to them. So the first tool what you can use is called Genfluence, right? Genfluence is literally just a beginner-friendly AI model generator. Okay, it generates images of whatever you like. Okay, and that's FWR safe for work content, right? So literally, you can do stuff for your Instagram and your fan view, right? The best part is, right? It's beginner-friendly, and you can create your own character, right? So I've actually got a video on Gemfluence. I'll leave the link for that below just so you know you can actually see how it's used and how you can actually work, right? But I'll quickly explain it here, right? You can create, you, so you can put in a prompt, say you want a blonde model with blue eyes, right? Blonde model, blue eyes, German looks, short hair, bangs, messy bun, whatever you want, right? You can put that prompt in, right? And it'll generate a face for you, which is going to be the face of your model, if that's what you want, right? You can generate that until you're happy, right? Then you can create a character, right? The character helps with consistency. If you have built a character, your model will have the exact same face and more or less the same body every single time, right? So you've got to think, if you're not as advanced, right, you can easily make your own model. You can make your own model through a consistent and easy generator called Genflows, right? So if you're new to the game, it's going to be game changing for you. You can actually generate images, right? And it's all che it's not cheap, but like you get 500 credits per month for free, right? And I think that generates like 120 images, some, some of that like that, right? I think there's four tokens per month, right? But you can generate 120 images and that's enough to get started, right? You could easily get 20 pictures, usable pictures out of that, because you've got to think, AI still makes mistakes, right? But you can still get at least 20 pictures out of that NSFW and SFW, right? And the thing is, you can get like, I don't know, 9,000 tokens for $16 or something like that, like that right? So you've got to think that's literally over 1,000 images. 2,500 or something daft like that. I don't know how much it is. I can't be asked for the maths, right? But you can get that many images of Gemfluence for $16, which is more than enough to kickstart your career as an AI model owner, I guess you could see, right? And the best part is it has something called Flux. It's recently integrated Flux into the, into the website, so it's a lot easier to use. It generates better outcomes and all that stuff, right? So it's a good start for anyone who is using it. Although, like, it is good for beginners, right? When you're advancing and when you're actually making money with the model, you, got, you are going to have to learn to use a different generator and how to make your own AI model generator and all that, right? There is software out there such as Stable Diffusion, E111, or whatever the hell it's called, right? But for now, Genfluence is literally the most beginner-friendly thing. It generates decent images and it can actually help you start your career as an AI model owner. So a lot of people have been putting messages under my my youtube videos like my past youtube videos and asking how i actually do nsfw content right and genfluence can actually do nsfw content right but flux overall right no matter where you get flux or how you use flux flux is not good for nsfw right so you've got to use the base standard genfluence right so you can't use the flux version but you can use the base standard version and you can generate almost any nsfw you want of course there is going to be errors in it but that's all ei and like when you start and you've kind of just got to push through it and try and get the best pictures you've got to cherry pick the pictures so you know you can have good pictures, bad pictures, maybe the hands are muddled up, maybe there's three legs, right? You've got to cherry pick the pictures so you've got the best quality ones, right? But if you're new and you've asked the question how to create NSFW images, literally just do it through normal Genfluence, not the Flux version because Flux can't do it, right? And like I say, there's going to be mistakes, but that's literally any generator, that's every AI model creator. There's always mistakes, they just cherry pick and change, learn to edit their photos and all that stuff, right? So just use your Genfl so use Genfluence Flux to create your model's Instagram pictures or even just a normal version, right? Then just use the normal version for NSFW pictures. You can get pictures of the, the breast, the vagina, the arse, literally anything you, you want, right? Of course, there is limitations to it. You can't get whatever, you can't get everything, right? But that's unfortunately what you've got to deal with when you're a beginner, right? And the next thing I'm going to get onto, right, is Photoshop, right? You hear me say Genfluence can create mistakes. All of these softwares make mistakes, right? And that's what, where Photoshop shop comes in, okay? Photoshop has a new feature called Generation Fill. It's an AI-based, powered thing, whatever, right? And it 
basically changes things what you want with a command brake. Of course, Photoshop isn't expensive, it isn't cheap, but you can get it for something like $11 per month or something like that, which obviously it's not too much, right? Even if you get it for a month, the generate all your images and just try it out, right? But honestly, it is a fucking game changer. Trust me with that. It is a game changer, right? See, you're, you have a good image, but the, the hand's slightly mud, muddled. Maybe it's missing a finger or something like that, right? All you've got to do is generation, outline it, then literally click generate. You don't even have to put a prompt in. Photoshop AI will do it all for you, right? It doesn't matter if you've used Photoshop before, it doesn't matter what level you're at with it, right? It literally, a baby could do it. A six-year-old could learn how to do it. It's that simple, right? All you gotta do is get a selection tool, draw a circle around the object and literally click generate or add a prompt into whatever you want, right? It can change hands, it can get rid of hair, if like there's hair in the face, stuff like that. It can change the eye colors. It can literally do almost anything. It literally is a game changer for anything on like in the AI models, right? If you create, say you're using Gemfluence and you create an image and it's got three fingers or it's got six toes or something like that, right? All you've got to do is literally circle it and click generate and it'll give you a few selections. Of course, it might take a few tries. It might take you 10 to 15 minutes to actually get a decent image or a decent hand change what you like. But in the end, if you're using Gemfluence, Photoshop pairs perfectly with it because Gemfluence, there seems to be a lot of like extra hands, extra limbs, extra fingers, missing fingers, stuff along the lines of that, right? So Photoshop will really help you out with that. And even if you just like See if there's something in the background. See if there's a picture frame what you want to get rid of. Maybe there's, I don't know, an iPad or a phone what looks wonky or something like that, right? It can be literally used to get rid of all of that. It's crazy how good it is. And literally, it, you can, it doesn't matter how much you've used Photoshop, you can still use it no matter what level you are at. But they are more or less the two tools what you need to start your journey and actually make somewhat decent photos, okay? Obviously, your photos aren't going to be the best and your expertise are going to grow and your photos are going to grow as you actually experience and you're learning as much stuff as possible, which is literally what I've done. When I first started, I was using Gemfluence and I wasn't even using Photoshop. I was just cherry picking pictures with the worst hands, cropping the images to the worst, you know? So take the experience from me, right? Photoshop best friend right use it as much as you can don't crop images that look shitty and you can just tell it's more ai and all that stuff literally just circle it with the selection tool i mean the like photoshop's not that expensive so you should be able to but literally I'm, I'm telling you these tools from my personal experience right when i first started all i used is genfluence right genfluence and genfluence flux the images weren't the best quality but you know i could still cherry pick to get certain ones you know some were good some didn't have wonky hands some did so i didn't use them and if i did use them i actually just cropped the hand out to see if the hand was like spread out on the bed i would literally just crop it out so you couldn't see the hand but you could see the rest of the picture it just looked really tacky and just you know it wasn't good but honestly if i knew about photoshop back then it would have changed my life so you know that's the joy of learning once you've made money with your model or in your business right the best thing you can do is spend it on learning more because it's going to be higher quality for you you're going to know more and you're going to make more money that's literally all i've done so take take the lesson what i've learned and just you know use these tools use this video to actually help you create better quality images simply just by gemfluence and photoshop right as you expand on you, you're going to learn new softwares you're going to learn how to actually create your own ei images and stuff like through like different uis stable diffusion stuff along the lines of that but for now just stick with gemfluence and use photoshop because it'll be your best friend as i've said about a million times right but another thing I just want to quickly go over is the stuff I've done today. So literally, I've been changing my days up a lot recently, right? Literally, all I've been doing is posting all... So waking up, obviously, going to the gym, then straight away, all, I'm posting all my pictures, editing all my pictures on FanView and Instagram, right? This is also done through Photoshop, right? So see if there's wonky hands, maybe the eyes looking funny, maybe there's like a strand of hair, what like starts there and ends there. So Photoshop gets rid of that. I'll edit all of them pictures and just mass, I'll just batch them all up, ready for the uh, the upcoming days. So fan view always gets posted in the morning for me because I'm in the UK, it doesn't matter what time. Then on Instagram, it usually gets posted around 5 p.m., 5, 6 p.m. British time. I don't know what we ends. Shit, I don't know. But it, it, it's equivalent to about 9, 10 in America. So just the week enough time in America, because that's where most people in on Instagram you want to see, right? You want Americans to see your posts. So if you're posting in the morning, people get up in the morning, they might be making the cup of coffee, the cereal, scrolling along Instagram, they're like, oh, she's fit, give her a follow, buy her only fans, whatever, right? So that's kind of the, the strategy behind that. But that's what I've been doing so far. I've got a lot more stuff to do, but I thought I'd make a quick video in the in the mid day so you know it's cut through me dear but a lot of it's just chatting and editing pictures there's not much else to it really a few hours on that just learning but uh, that's all i hope you've learned a lot from this and i'll see you